New details tonight about this terrifying scene in Coolidge last year. A gas line explosion destroyed a nearby home, killing the people inside. Now, federal investigators have released part of their investigation into what went wrong. Here's ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes with the latest. 529 AM, August 15th, 2021. A violent explosion rocked this neighborhood in Coolidge. A nearby underground gas line ruptured, setting this farmhouse on fire, killing father Luis Alvarez and his daughter Valeria. Her mother, Rosalina, somehow made it out alive. But according to these newly released documents, she was found walking down the street with a wound the size of a softball on her head, and her skin burned so badly it sloughed from her body. This is the first time we're getting details of the obstacles first responders encountered when arriving to this scene. There was like two stacks that were on fire. It was like it was like devil's horns, man, I promise you. It was just like, it was two stacks of flames shooting up from the ground. According to the National Transportation Safety Board's preliminary report, while the house burned, a Union Pacific train blocked emergency entry. It would be 15 minutes before the train was moved. And as officials tried to contact gas line owner El Paso Natural Gas, initial calls went unanswered. By 608, the report says a company representative was en route. But even after the company showed up, these documents show there was trouble turning off the gas. Two valves needed to be shut down. Investigators say it took an hour to shut down one and nearly two and a half hours to shut down the other. Some reasons for delay? the distance of the valves from the gas line, confusion about where at least one was located, and difficulty finding the valve because it was so muddy outside. El Paso's parent company, Kinder Morgan, told ABC 15 in a statement on Friday, we deeply regret the loss of life and injuries that occurred as a result of this accident. And there are several factors impacting response times, which the report details, but cannot comment further. The pipeline remains shut down as the federal investigation continues. It's important to point out this is not the final report. NTSB says it does not include any analysis, causes or conclusions, and the investigation is still ongoing. In the newsroom, Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.